Well, the fifth annual Uptown Jazz and Blues Festival swings its way into Lafayette. Tonight's festival drew big crowds downtown. Here's a look inside the festivities and a listen to some of the music. Jazz and blues are definitely important, but just the festivals that Lafayette does in general are very important. I think it's great for downtown and... Uh... I think it's great for the community to have something like this going on. Lifelong Lafayette resident Fred Lux is excited to have events like the Jazz and Blues Festival in the area, but the fifth annual event draws in more than just local people. In the last two years, there's been more blues, and uh, it's nice to see a more solid jazz crowd, and I've seen some of the people swing dancing. It's good. I like it. Otterburn resident David Poor doesn't miss the annual Music Fest, an event that celebrates the unique American music. The jazz and blues is also very important. There's a lot of bands in the area that kind of specialize in those, and it's nice to kind of see their talents. The pulsing sounds and upbeat atmosphere attract more than just regular jazz fest goers. It's my first time being here, and I want to come and see what it was all about. And the $12 ticket to see all this wonderful music doesn't disappoint. We wanted to see them, and they were worth the price of admission. And if you haven't had the chance to get down to the Uptown Jazz and Blues Fest, there's still at least a little time to get there for some great music and food and drinks. The festival will be going on all night long. Bands will play on three different stages until midnight. But the after party continues at Indiana's oldest bar, the Knickerbocker, until 3 a.m. Tickets are $12 at the gate.